We're glad to have you back. Now, this is not the best time for practitioners in the business world as the ongoing cash crunch inflicted on the majority of Nigerians by the Central Bank of Nigeria's Naira redesign policy has slowed down activities across all sectors. Apart from the just concluded general elections, volatile foreign exchange markets, scarcity and queue for fear, absence of credit, high inflation and interest rates are also hurting the entire business community. Due to results of these, many people, especially investors, have either suspended their projects or slowed down activities across the space. And this is leading to less productivity and, of course, inflation is still on the other side. But it also looks like the CBN is finally listening to the call from well-meaning Nigerians and the Supreme Court as old notes seem to be, have flooded the market in recent times, making it look like the scarcity of cash is almost over, while other contending issues continue to shift, or contending rates continue to shift higher. Well, let's talk more. Let me have the experts to explain this to us. Dr. Chijo Kekechuku is the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Dignity Finance and Investment Limited. He's also a top member of the Abuja Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Thank you so much, Doctor. It's good to see you. It's been a while. It's my pleasure, Tolu. Uh, it's always my pleasure to be on this program. Thank you very much. Well, let's start very quickly with where we stopped, because I'm sure we discussed this at a time where the heat was so much. That's talking about the Naira crunch. We discussed this at length then. But I want to ask you this question this way. Many have admitted that something went wrong. Somebody did not do something right or correctly. That is why we found ourselves in this situation. Do you agree, Dr. Ikechuku? I will agree with you completely. I, I did say that in the past that uh, implementation process was uh, not well uh, articulated and done. Um, this is not the first time we, we are changing our currency. And um, some other countries also redesign their currency and they don't go through this kind of process. Um, I, I think it was actually handled in an ad hoc manner or somebody did not do the right job he was supposed to do. That was exactly what happened. Um, of course, granted that uh, occasionally the, the, the currency can be redesigned. Again, we have to contend with this network challenge. Uh, <laughs> where uh, Doc was trying to really make sense of all of this argument around the cash crunch and uh, all of that. Uh, for me, I don't know, sometime last week, we were able to access some 10, 15,000 for the first time via the ATM. It was so surprising. I was so excited to get the cash. I don't know if that's happening. Old notes, though, not new notes. So clearly, uh, like what other analysts have said, there seemed to be a dis disconnect somewhere something didn't just go on well because if this notes really were to be available by now i think all atm points should be dispensing the cash but what we have now we have the old cash everywhere and that, that's the legal tender according to the supreme court and that's what we we are running our day-to-day -day activities uh with but like, like i said it's best to get the expert to speak more around this and we we'll chart a course at least forward to see what this means. Businesses, uh, we've, brought, we've seen a lot of figures from CCPPE, from the LCCI, from all of the agencies of government and private sector talking about what this crunch means uh, for our economy. Imagine small businesses that have to buy their goods on a daily basis and they cannot get cash. How do they go about it? How do they feed their family members? It's really worrisome. Uh, Dr. Uh, Chijoke Ekechuku is expected to join us back so that we can continue uh, this conversation uh, from where we stopped. Do we have Dr. Ekechuku back? Okay, then let's take a break. Uh, when we return, we continue this conversation. We're glad to have you back. Well, Let's move on. Dr. Chijoke, go ahead. You were making a point after admitting that there were flaws around this redesigning initiative. That's right. 
Yes, you know, so um, Nigeria saw the, 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 the flaws around uh, the new uh, currency. And the flaws, obviously, even if um, they are not admitted by the participants, we know there were flaws. If the supply was able to match even half of the demand, there wouldn't have been any court case. There wouldn't have been the kind of sufferings Nigerians are passing through right now. You know, so um, uh, it was a lesson for everybody uh, to know that before such a decision could be taken, Again? Wow. We can hear you, Doc. Go ahead. Yeah, so, um, so uh, but, but of course, with the current uh, situation, we are beginning to see that the supply is uh, gradually coming out, especially with the old currency coming back into circulation. Um, Nigerians are beginning to uh, give a sense of um, relief and then um, a kind of uh, pressure and a kind of. Uh, for, for me, I, I am bordered. I, I hope you can hear me, Dr. Kechuku. I'm worried. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, go. I'm worried because uh, yes. December is just a few months away. Uh, what do you think we need to be putting in place at the moment? What sort of conversation are we supposed to sit around the table to start to have now ahead of December so that we don't go back to where we are coming from? Okay, uh, right now, we already know what the problem is. And the problem is that it's just that of supply. Um, we need to have enough uh, time, which is already there for us to have, uh, up to December. Um, to actually have used this opportunity to uh, perfect um, the aspects of uh, um, e-transfers and um, all the things that have to do with the, the transfers of funds and all that. Actually, talking about big transactions, the, 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 the situation is not affecting major transactions. The, that is affecting the minor transactions that actually would, demand, they would depend on cash to handle. Um, like we're talking about going to the marketplace and having to make efficient uh, payment. And, um, you know, most of these people who are selling in various markets do not have even any means of um, receipt, having to do with uh, online payments. So it's always a problem with those level of people. But 